Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kirby Squeak Squad! Man, have I, have I been waiting to say that. In the last episode we have... we did stage 1, 2 and 3 of Jam Jungle. In this episode we'll be doing more of Jam Jungle. Now, quick note, um, I actually had a recording failure and as such I am post recording my voices after after recording the episode. I basically lost the audio for it. Here I'm changing the color into shadow, just checking which colors I had. Um, basically, until one part of this video, it's gonna be just post-commentary, not live, so I'll just tongue you over. Uh, I'm just checking s random stuff on screen. But, yeah, I am... This really gives me a time to talk about how I really want to get back into doing these videos. I'm a bit sick as you might know or not know. And, yeah, I really want to record this episode for like a few, for a week now, pretty much. Anyways, 4-4, you would spark and electrocute the floor and does these sort of shock wave things on the ground. Um, still using spark here. And, just keep going, I suppose. I'm... I am just watching my re-recording of this, which is gonna be interesting. So here I grab a bubble with spark, and then I decide to get a sword ability, which... And I got a 1-up from there. And I lose my uh, sword ability immediately, so I then, like, oh, I'll pick this other guy. There you go. You can cut uh, those chains with sword... and cutter, I think? I'm not sure about cutter, but sword, definitely. If you use spark on those, um, they will, like, you'll see in a minute, I can't explain it. Basically, sparks will go through them, and they can go further, and it's logic. Yeah, but yeah, I, I really want to record this episode for a while now, and just to see it, me, just while I was recording this, it was amazing. So... Thank you for those who waited patiently. Um, I know not a lot of people still watch my videos, but for those who did, thank you for waiting. It's been hard for me to, you know, not record. Anyway, first treasure chest. You gotta kill that wall D before it escapes. And there you go. Pretty easy. That's your first treasure chest. Uh, the second treasure chest is here. You're gonna need fire ability for this, which I will forget in about two seconds. Skip that door and go up to fight your uh, mini boss. I should have probably pulled up Google and checked out what his name is, but you know what? Never mind. Anyway, you got the bubble ability from this guy. And as you can see, I am doing terribly at this game. I mean, I was doing terrible at first as well, but. I mean, after not playing it for a bit, I'm just horrible at it. Anyway, we use the bubble ability. I never showed the bubble secret scroll, I remember that. Um, and if you hold B to the side, you do this big bubble, so there you go. And I do grab fire here and ton of other stuff. As you can see, I could have grabbed those. I almost died there. There you go. Do that. Now, I should go in there, but I'm like, oh, is there anything here? So I check, okay, there's Kirby and there's food. So then I decide to organize my inventory, I think. I don't know, I can't remember me stopping. So you go throw that one out, eat some food, and I took the other Kirby. And I actually didn't notice this, but it flew away as soon as I finished that, so there you go. And then I remembered I need fire ability for this next bed, and I'm like, oh, yeah. So there you go, you need, actually do need fire for this. Here we grab it. This, this is amazing post-commentary by me, probably. Uh, I still gotta record the rest of this video after I'm done uh, post-recording. Yeah, there you go. Logic. Uh, I think, yeah, I fuse, I get high jump by fusing those two, and high jump with fire gives me bomb, which I never get to use, actually. So, yay! Anyway, we got our second treasure chest. You need fire to melt those um, steel, I guess, or metal things. Yeah, there you go. So we keep moving through here, and 
Okay. So, we can just keep moving through here. Uh, I believe you need fire for the next one as well? Not really sure, but sure, let's go with it. Um, yes, you need fire here, and I grab wheel because I can. There we go. And... I can't grab the church chest because logic. So I say screw to the mini Kirby's and I grab the other chest. And we have Storo who is chasing us. And you have this actually a required fight, so there you go. They do give us beam that you can use, but honestly fire just makes quick work of him. If, if you just back him into a corner and then hold flame like, like I do right now, it's over. And I'm not letting go because I know what will happen if I let it go. No pun, no reference intended, I swear to god. And there you go, defeat him, and you're done with the level, yay! And we got a free treasure chest. And we got a graph piece, secret, secret map piece, and a secret door key. I believe I do 4 dash. Yeah, I do 4 5 because it's a shorter stage. So here we go. 4 5. It gives us ninja. I remember I failed the first bit of this. Yeah, I failed the first time I do this stage, and the second time I actually succeed. So, what you need to do is you need to fall down as fast as possible to get that treasure chest, and I was doing really bad at it. And I was failing horribly. And when I say horribly, I mean absolutely horribly, as you can see. <laughs> and I missed it. Uh, satellite, but it is a short stage, so I can just, like, redo it. I don't know why they show me the Kirby dance, even though I didn't get anything. I mean, it is a short one, but still. We unlocked the boss stage. Oh god, hold up. Mm. Ah, excuse me. I got a yawn for some reason. Uh, I decided to take wheel because this upcoming bit is use can be used for it. Instead of uh, screwing up with wheel, I just uh, exhale the air to destroy that bomb thing. And I tried to go as fast as possible. This is where wheel is useful. I mean, I kind of failed at it at every single turn. And there we go, I got it, and that's it. And I believe this is where my post record where I ended, so... Past, future, me, Elgin, recording is over. I'll see you guys in the past or the future. See you guys in a minute. Alright, now that we're done with post recording, let's go to 5x. I literally just finished recording that bit that you guys saw two seconds ago, probably. Anyway, in this stage, you want to fly up immediately, because that is the end of the stage, as you can see. And we're not going to the end of the stage quite yet. We want all three of the treasure chests in here. So, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go take that cherry real quick, and go in here. Yeah. So here we go, this is where the stage starts. We got some boulders. We just rush through that. Um, you probably wanted parasol, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not gonna take sleep as it is useless. All right, we're gonna take Paris. Okay, so what you want to do in this bit is you actually want to fall to the left because you have a chest. There you go. Let's go past here. Um, in here you want park. Just go through here. Come on. Come on, get past there. There we go. Get past here. And push that. Is it gonna activate? No, I guess not. Anyway, second so trust chest right there. And go in here. I. Yep, giant boulders. You wanna keep close to the top because giant boulders are just gonna keep attacking you. And. You know I'm gonna take ice. I'm not gonna refuse. No. No. No, I refuse. All right, let the boulder fall, and let's go in here. Hit the switch, 
and the big treasure chest appears. Let's shoot that, that out. And... Spinny appears! So let's get ready. Alright, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Whoo! Push that. No. Come here. Come here, Spinny. Whoo! Alright. Keep going. Now he appears there. I'm just gonna slide up. Ooh. All right, let's go. Wait, did I screw it up? Did I go in too fast? I did. Oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut ahead until I get that last treasure chest because I screwed it up. And we've got a nice scroll and the music sheet from that. All right, cutting ahead. All right, take two. Here we go. Push the button, and let's go. As you can see, I got the sword ability. I basically went uh, down the path, other pathway to, uh, from the second chest, so I didn't take the... Um, I didn't take the the spark ability and went down that path. I just went straight on without destroying those blocks, and it led me to a sword guy, which I absorbed, and I got the ability. Which sword might be actually useful here, as you can see. Which it probably is, actually. There you go, done. Easy. Ooh. Why not? Sure, why not? I couldn't fail there, it was either he killing up or that. Anyway, that was the secret stage. One stage left. And we got a ghost medal for that. Anyway, time for the boss. Um, I'm personally gonna, I think... I think neither of these is actually pretty good, so I'm gonna mix these two and see what I get. So... Okay, high jump might be useful. I'm gonna take high jump for this one then. So here we got the Roach, who is calling Doc with his brand new machine. This is Yadogain, the fourth boss. As you can see, I'm just gonna use my high jump technique. Ooh. No, 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 absorb. B. Alright. Just keep getting this. He eventually starts shooting out lasers. If you don't have any power ups, you can uh, swallow up the rocks and shoot it back at him. There we go, we broke two of his arms, now he can no longer dig. So, let's just keep going. Alright. Just because. Time to finish! Yeah, okay! Let's grab the treasure chest. Boss Bell Patch. Anyway, guys, we finished Jam Jungle! Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. And next time on Kirby Squeak Squad, we will be doing level 5 Vocal Volcano. I'll see you guys then.